Professional photographers have used panoramas for years, as the technique of shooting a multiple file sweep enables them to capture a wider view of a landscape vista while also creating a higher resolution final image that is better suited for use as a print or for splashing across a billboard. Both high value end products that professionals can sell to clients. Shooting the files for the panorama is easy enough as long as photographers remember to leave an overlap of around 15% between the frames. But it's post-processing where photographers are bombarded with choice, both for what software to use and various techniques on how to edit the files together. Luckily, Affinity Photo offers a quick and easy route to perfect panoramas, leaving professionals more time for the important jobs of image capture and marketing their work. Affinity Photo allows various file formats to be merged together, including JPEG, TIFF, PNG and RAW. And the whole process shouldn't take you more than 5 minutes, so let's see how to create an amazing panorama like this. Before you start, you can speed up the operation by placing the files you'd like to merge together into one folder so they can be found quickly. With Affinity Photo open, head up to File, scroll down to New Panorama, and when the dialog box appears, click on the Add option. Select the files that you want to merge together, and then click on the Open option. When you return to the dialog box, you want to click on the Stitch Panorama option. Affinity Photo will create a thumbnail of your panorama creation. When the thumbnail appears, simply progress by clicking the OK option. Affinity Photo will work its magic and produce your panorama. And when the process is complete, zoom in and check on the horizons, as this is where any misaligned frames will be easy to spot. So, what do you do if you do find a misaligned frame? Well, to start with, use the Add to Source Image Mask tool from the toolbar. And the keyboard shortcut for this is L. When you click on it, you'll then see the individual frames that make up your panorama. Use the tool to paint over the greyed out area you want to fix, and the software will replace it with pixels from an alternative frame. Once you're happy, you can execute the edit by heading to the top of the interface and clicking on the Render option. With any stitching issues resolved, select the Crop tool from the toolbar. Drag the corner handles in until you can't see any of the transparent alpha layer below. Once you're happy with your cropping, you can press Return to execute the crop. And when you're ready to progress, head to the top left of the interface and click on the Apply option. With the panorama committed, you'll find yourself back in the software's photo persona. This means you can now enhance the panorama by adding things like adjustment layers. To do this, simply head up to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and you can select from the various options. I think I'm going to add a Hue Saturation Adjustment. And I'm just going to ramp up the saturation by dragging the slider to the right. With any extra adjustments made to the image, your panorama is now finished and ready to be exported. To do this, simply click on File, Export, and you can save the panorama as a JPEG, TIFF or any other file format that you choose. Thanks for watching this tutorial, enjoy making your panoramas and I'll see you next time.